is John from Heroes and Legends, and today we have a update from Wizards of the Coast involving the Magic the Gathering Online Commander 1v1 ban list. There's been some updates to the list. We're going to look at the three cards that have been added to the ban list, and I'll give you my thoughts in general as to how the format's going so far. Now, quickly before we get started, though, if you check out the description below, you'll find a couple ways to help support the channel, one of which is our Amazon affiliate store. Any purchases you make from Amazon sellers via those links, whether it's magic related or really it can be anything, a small percentage will come back to help support the channel. It really goes a long way. Thank you to everyone who participates in that. Also, you'll find a link to our Patreon page down there, another way to help us keep doing what we're doing. Having said that, let's get into the information for today. All right, so now we have started to get some preliminary data on this Commander 1v1 on Magic Online. Wizards is starting to get an idea of what the metagame looks like and who would have thunk it, but guess what? Blue is a good color. <laughs> so Wizards is going to take some steps to try to equalize the metagame a little bit. And I like how they're doing this. We're going to see the cards in just a second, but they could have banned a whole bunch of blue cards. And they didn't do that. They only banned a couple cards. They're going to let that digest, see what happens. And if they have to ban some more, then they will a month from now, maybe two months from now. And I think that's absolutely the best way to go about this. It's a much more thoughtful, surgical way to attack it, as opposed to any sort of mass banning that could cause other leaks to spring up very quickly. So I like what they're doing here. I think they're being really smart about how they're governing this list. Another thing I do want to point out, in case you didn't hear the news, a couple of weeks ago, Wizards kind of backtracked a little bit on the fact that this ban list would cover both the 1v1 commander on Magic Online and multiplayer. So once Hour of Devastation comes out on Magic the Gathering Online in early July, then they're going to again separate and have two ban lists. The ban list for multiplayer will indeed be the true ban list from the rules committee, the commander rules committee. So they're backwalking that a little bit. Again, I think that's a good idea. It just prevents confusion going forward. Some players trying to play with the Wizards online ban list, other players trying to play with the official committee ban list. Now you won't have that problem. You'll just simply have a 1v1 Magic Online ban list, and then you'll have the multiplayer just official ban list. And what I like about this is we have seen ban lists in the past for 1v1, but they're not official, and you have to kind of wonder how they're getting their data and how much data they're getting about the game. Well, now you have an official list on Magic Online that is going to get consistent data going through it. So I feel like this is the ban list. If I'm playing 1v1 Paper Commander, I'm probably going to want to use going forward. And I kind of like that it's here now. But anyway, aside from all that, let's look at the three cards. We have Dig Through Time. It's been banned. Now, maybe not as surprise. Dig Through Time feels like it's always getting banned in various formats. But here it is. And I think this makes sense. I mean, Saltai decks are doing really well. Like I said, Blue in general has been really strong. Tassiker decks, Burrell decks, they've been rising to the top of the meta. Now, taking away a card like Dig Through Time is going to slow down the consistency of some of these decks. I do think the bannings today are going to hurt the Tassiger deck more so than they're going to hurt the Burrell deck. But we'll, again, kind of wait and see what happens. I think this is still a smart way of doing it because a month down the road, we may have completely different stats based on what's going on in the meta. Now, you guessed it, whenever Dig Through Time gets banned, usually Treasure Cruise is not far behind. So, of course, Treasure Cruise also banned. Again, another piece of these blue decks that's going to hopefully alleviate some of the consistency and balance things out in the meta a little bit. And finally, we have Strip Mine. Strip Mine, one of the classic Magic cards, originally from Antiquities. Little surprise this wasn't banned initially in 1v1. Now in multiplayer games, I don't think this is too degenerative because you have a lot of people that can respond to what you're doing. But if this combos with anything that can recur it, I mean, the easiest combo probably is Crucible Worlds, for example. You can just annihilate your opponent's mana base and end the game right there. And that just seems a little too easy in some situations and a little too high variance and luck based. So... Having said that, I think this is another really good pick for Wizards to ban at this point. And in general, I like what they're doing with the format and with this ban list. So I'm excited to see what happens as this moves forward. And at some point, I'd like to jump in and try to play a little bit of this format on Magic Online. It's got me that interested. So having said that, that's the news for today. Now, next month, they'll come back with another banning 
or another group of potential bannings, I should say. And if there's any news then, of course, we will let you know. But until next time, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe, and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible by the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store, where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon, and have a great day.